Hi, I'm Becky Kagan, one of the owners of Liquid Productions LLC and an avid videographer and photographer. A lot of times when I'm viewing different diving forums and websites and places like YouTube, people post some really great videos, except there's no storyline going along with them. Know what you're shooting. First, both land and underwater concepts pretty much remain the same. So, I hope some of these examples help you with your next dive video. First, figure out what shots you're going to want later on in the editing process. That will help focus you while you're shooting. Plus, if you learn to edit first, it helps you with your shooting because you'll know exactly what shots you're going to want later on. Can't always go back and get them a second time around. One problem I see with videos, there's no cutaways. A cutaway is a shot that takes you off of your main subject that helps break up your video in a series of tight shots. It can be a shot of your hands, a shot of a face. Sequences are also important in getting lots of different angles. You also want to get wide, medium, and tight shots. Use a tripod. Moving video can make the audience sick, especially while watching a larger TV. Shoot video like you're setting up to shoot a still picture. Let the action happen in the frame instead of moving the camera all over the place trying to follow the action. Natural sounds always help move a piece along and break up sections and sequences. Music choices are important too. It can help set the mood of your piece. There are many music libraries you can purchase non-copyrighted music from. Don't use copyrighted music. You're going to have to leave your Pearl Jam on your iPod. Practice. Even if you want to shoot underwater, learn your camera on the surface. Practice on dry land and do some editing. It helps keep your skills up and you'll learn a lot. Practice shooting wide, medium, and tight shots in plenty of sequences. Then practice editing them together so you'll learn what shots you'll need to get out in the field later. You can even put silly little videos like this together. Storyboard and put a shot list like this together. Talk to your models before a dive and plan out your shots. Don't be afraid to tell them what you're looking for and direct them. I like to work with a lot of the same divers and models all the time. That way we're all on the same page. They can learn my shooting style and we all develop a really good work habit. And don't forget to be creative. Try new things. Even if it seems silly, you never know what a good experimental shot might result in. So the point of all this is know what you're shooting, make a plan, have an idea in your head before you splash. I mean, you spent all this money on this great camera system. You spent hours learning how to use it. Don't dive blind. Have a plan. So the next time you jump in the water, have a shot list, tell your models what you want from them, and know what you want in the very end when you go into the editing process. I hope some of this helps. For more information, visit liquidproductionsllc.com, and I hope to see your next great diving adventure online soon. Thank you.